In the past three elections, this Curtisville Republican has had an easy time during the elections. But lawmakers redrew the map, and suddenly Kravik faces a tough race. I'm a big target, so uh, I, uh, I know they're gunning for me, and we're going to work as hard as we can, and hopefully we'll hold the Senate seat. Several groups have targeted Kravik with the goal of flipping the North Carolina Senate. Throw in a few more Democrats, thanks to redistricting, and a challenger with money. Her opponent, Terry Legrand, has raised nearly half a million dollars. And this one-time safe Republican seat is suddenly not so safe. Even if they should take over the Senate, my opponent would still be a freshman and would not have any leadership authority for, for quite some time. And that's really important in the process that happens in the legislature. Kravik says that experience, plus her role in the Senate leadership, allows her to influence legislation and get things done. I asked her view on whether North Carolina should adopt an independent redistricting commission. It's really funny that for 140 years, Democrats drew those districts and they were just fine. The first time that Republicans had an opportunity to draw them, and they are far better than they've ever been, um, we've been in court the whole time. Kravik is critical of how Governor Cooper has handled the pandemic. What is it well, that you would do differently? I think we're number 47th strictest on the, on the shutdown. Um, that's, pretty, that's pretty bad. Um, my criticism is that Mecklenburg and Wake are not Yadkin County and Davie County. Um, some counties in the state have had very few cases of COVID. Um, they should be able to make some decisions on their own. But that didn't stop Kravik supporters from running this campaign ad. Kravik worked with Governor Cooper to pass a bipartisan coronavirus recovery plan, small business loans to keep people working, millions for face masks and gloves, expanded COVID testing. Kravik says the pandemic has not changed her view on Medicaid expansion. She still opposes it. The biggest difference between you and your opponent? Um... Well, she's very liberal and I'm very conservative. So there is a huge difference there. Um, she believes in big government. I believe in small government. I believe that free people uh, do best when they're allowed to make their own decisions. Kravik says another major difference with her opponent is on the economy and the best way to bring jobs to North Carolina. The corporate tax uh, cuts have brought businesses to North Carolina. That's how we have lured businesses to North Carolina over the last 10 years by cutting those corporate tax rates, cutting the franchise taxes to make it more attractive for them to come to North Carolina. And we have recruited some great businesses who have come here. My opponent's just wrong. You, you have your taxes are too high. Those companies go somewhere else and those jobs are lost. Vote by mail is already underway. Early voting begins next week, October 15th, and election day is November 3rd. Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News. Bill, thank you very much. Coming up at 530, a Democrat is hoping to unseat Ms. Kravik in this redrawn district. We'll hear what Terry Legrand has to say, including specifically what she'd like to see North Carolina invest in. Bill O'Neill has the second half of this piece coming up in a few.